we have identified many priority areas. The first priority is to impart quality teaching to the students in the class. At the same time, we feel that our teachers who are excellent in their career, in their teaching, should devote more time to research and publications. In a way, every teacher I look forward to, to build up his academic you know, career and to create his own place in teaching and research. To do this, we have been, we have a good library, we get world class journals into our library, we have Wi-Fi facilities here and uh, what is more important, we provide all the facilities for the all round development of the student. As I said, the students in the classroom, they are taken care by the teachers. To students outside the classroom, they are also taken care of by the teachers. We provide them a free environment, a vibrating academic environment and we have been trying to impress on our students that they have to be leaders in their own fields. They are students of a global university, the Billa Global University. And to be a student in a global university like the Billas, they have to have to be in the forefront of knowledge. They have to be leaders, they have to be innovative, they have to be agile and they have to adjust also to learn how to adjust and how to accept the challenges and how to convert the challenges into opportunities and into their advantages. Builders have contributed into the Indian culture, Indian art, Indian education and to the development of the Indian society. Right from the time of Pujya G. D. Birla, they have laid a very strong foundation not only for the development of the economy but also for the social development of the people by emphasizing the development of education, development of technology and development of educational institutions where the students are taught, trained and they come out as second to known in the country. If you look at the Billa tradition, you have the so many Billa institutions in the country. You have the famous Billa Institute of Technology at Pilani. Its campuses are there at Hyderabad, in at Goa. You have the Billa College of Academy, College of Management in Calcutta. You have so many colleges, so many institutions which have been, you know, promoted, founded by Billas for social development, educational development, for art, development of art, development of culture in India. So what I will say that if you, the, if you look at the Billas, you have to feel a sense of awe by their commitment to philanthropy, by their commitment to the development, by their commitment to the social development, by their commitment to the national development. So here they have been trying to develop, develop the economy, develop the society, develop the people, develop educational institutions, develop art, culture. In that way, they have been making efforts for the total development of the Indian society. See, look at education from any point of view. When we are thinking of education, we are thinking of technology, we are thinking of any development in any sector of the economy, well, you have to take a global viewpoint because no economy develops in a vacuum. So we are an integrated economy with the world economy. So the students we produce, we train, we teach here, they have to be global in their outlook because if you are reading an institution where you have not exposed to these, these developments at the global level, then I think the institution will not be doing the right service to the students. The second point, 
See, if you have look at the economy, look at the society, look at the world, everything is changing very fast. The global economy has become very agile. It is changing. It is not in a standstill position. Innovations are taking, taking place. Technology is developing at a very fast rate. You look at education. So many developments are taking place in the field of education. The media, media, look at electronic media, look at print media. So everywhere you find development and change. So if you are preparing a student, he has to be necessarily given the training to be global in his outlook. If it, not necessarily that he forgets his country, but he has to look forward to build himself to take up the challenges in a global context. So if you look at any sector today, look at economy or look at the education, we are facing challenges from even the foreign universities. They are coming here, camping here and trying to take our students. Why? Because they feel, our students feel that they, if they go there, they will have a global brand. Now what we are trying to do here, we are inviting students from all over the world from the, all over the states in the country and we are trying to give them education consistent with the global trends. So whatever education we are imparting them, that takes into consideration the recent, the most developments in the respective fields. That is why we are trying to make our students innovative, make our students thoughtful, make our students agile, make our students leaders in their own fields. They can become leaders in politics, they can become leaders in business, they can become leaders in their knowledge front and therefore in the globalized context because in any case we are living in a knowledge economy. So you have to be very much knowledge oriented and your knowledge has to be very intensive. So intensive in the context that by taking into consideration whatever changes are taking place at the global level. So we are trying to incorporate all those changes into our curriculum into our teaching, into our studies to make or to give our students a feel that they are no less, they are no less than the students reading in other universities. They are as competent, they are as innovative, they are as agile and they can be as good, in fact better than other students in other universities. We are trying to build up a very vibrant, very encompassing very comprehensive type of academic, uh, you know, uh, academic uh, environment in the campus. Uh, we have teachers who are quite brilliant, who have completed their, many of them have completed their PhDs, many of them have good publications and some of them are completely in the verge of completing their dissertation works. And some of our teachers have very good experience. They have experience in the field, they have experience in corporate sector, they have experience in other educational and information sector. So we have teachers and we are proud because they are not only good enough to become teachers, they have a very extensive background which can help them and help our students in giving better teaching to the students. And uh, for this purpose, we also are trying to develop the communication facilities for the students, for the teachers and for all of us. Because you know, what most important part of teaching in any university is the communication channels how effectively you are communicating with your students and how your students are taking your communication. So it's a two-way process. So we are trying to strengthen this two-way process of communication between the students and the teachers. And we want to make sure that teachers and students, they communicate well, they interact with them with each other well, they, the students go to the teachers, take their help and the teachers are always ready to help the students in their academic work. And the second point to make the academic uh, environment more or to 
expand academically in global uh, in Billa Global University from this year we have started the PhD course that is your research research program and then we are also planning to start MA in economics and MCOM that is in commerce. We have advertised and we are getting good response from our students and keeping in view the needs of the students and the type of teaching which they require, the university has extended our the invitation to some of the best teachers in economics and commerce to come as visiting faculty or to come and join here or to be associated with this Billa Global University in any other capacity so that their expertise, their experience and their teaching capabilities are shared and we get the benefit of it and the students also get the benefit of it. So we are just you know we are we are having a very big ambition. We are dreaming high. We are not leaving any stone unturned for the development of this university. We know this if the students develop the university gets the benefit of it. If the university creates the facilities, gives them infrastructure, provides them art of this art of the state facilities, the students get the benefit. So in this way both the students and the university stay to improve each other and stay to develop and stay to bring more of tangible benefits to this university and that is how we are aiming at. Well, uh, see when you enter a campus, you should on yourself have a sense of being welcome into the campus. The campus should create a very uh, loving impact on you. If you look at the greeneries, if you look at the campus, if you look at the flowers around the campus, this creates a very loving impact, this creates a good impact on the visitors who come here. Not only this, we have also been trying to maintain and expand these greeneries in the campus. We are making it a very, very clean campus and we are 24 hours we are working to maintain its greenery, to maintain its cleanness and to maintain the campus in a way that becomes visible to all and that attracts the visit visitors. Not only he comes, he also likes to visit our campus again and again. And in the campus, we have been providing all the types of all academic facilities, canteen facilities, hostel facilities, lodging, boarding facilities to our students and staff. And in fact, I would welcome you to visit our cafeteria and look things for yourself. And you can see things for yourself, how hygienically food is prepared, it is served to the students and how the students are happy with the excellent meshing facilities, food facilities we have created for them. So to, I mean to end it, we have ac excellent academic facilities, very, very good infrastructure facilities, excellent teacher co and student communication facilities and we have been trying to develop it in a way that more of research is done here. We attract PhD students. We have been conducting courses on methodology. We have been conducting different types of courses and we are planning to have more of such courses in future. And I, I am sure with the passage of time, Billa Global University, which is only two years old, will become one of the best in Eastern India. And I am sure we are, though we are young, but we are ambitious. We have a long way to go. We have long miles to cover. We have very, very long goals, to, I mean, cherishable goals to be achieved. And our goal is the development of the student, development of the country, and providing the right type of students with the right type of leadership to the Indian society, to the Indian economy, so that the nation grows, we grow, our students grow, and therefore we feel that we are a part of the national development. We have been making our small contribution, though it is very 
small we are making our own contribution for the development of the society development of the nation see apart from a formal welcome which is normally extended to all the students in all universities i would welcome or we would welcome our students to the university to see things for themselves let them visit the library we'll ask them to please go visit the library we'll ask them to please go and visit the classrooms we'll ask them to please go and visit the cafeteria we'll ask them to please go visit any part of the university and if at your first sight if you feel there is something lacking or something we must add that we'll do once a visitor comes he is our guest and we treat our guest with dignity and with love all the students here who are here we treat them with love with dignity and we extend to them always a very warm and warm hearted welcome and we are always with them with the students we are with the students for the students and we are for the students all the time our present students are the best ambassadors of our of our university each of our student who passes from this university becomes a brand ambassador of his university he carries the message he himself becomes the embodiment of the values the ethics which the university has imbued in them and when the parents come here they should feel that what a transformation has taken place in their students when a student comes in and when a student leaves the campus after 2 years the transformation in the student should be visible and the transformation i will say hopefully will be very very much in consistent with the changes that are taking place for the benefit of the society that means he will be more knowledgeable he will be more learned he will be trained to take challenges he will be innovative he will be agile he will have leadership qualities and he will have no regrets he will never look back in life that is what we are trying to give the, make the students and give the message to the parents